in this emergency, I feel we've um, made some tremendous advancements in the clinical care of patients that are affected with Ebola. There are three kind of most notable um, changes or advancements or innovations. One is the, actually the site, the location where the patient is cared for. Uh, currently we are using innovative therapeutic unit designs uh, that our partners are pu have put into place where you can deliver um, very patient-centered, uh, individualized care. And that is different than prior outbreaks where the majority of patients received care uh, in large tents where there was not a lot of patient privacy or ability to do individualized supportive care. Supportive care. And what does that mean? That means we can give patients hydration through an intravenous access, which is also not, was not done uh, routinely in past outbreaks. We can correct dehydration. We can um, correct electrolyte abnormalities. And the third, which gets the most um, attention, is the use of uh, investigational therapeutics that are geared directly towards Ebola virus. All patients that have been admitted to a treatment unit have had access to an investigational therapeutic.